In Excel, you can use a formula to combine data from two or more cells. So here we have a column with first name and last name, and we'd like to combine them. So I'm going to click here where I'd like to see the full name and type an equal sign, and then click on B2, which has the first name. To join the values, I'm going to type Shift 7, which creates an ampersand, and that joins text in Excel. Then I'll click on the last name. Now when I press enter, it's combined the names, but they would look better if there were a space between them. So I'm going to click there where the formula is and just click after the B2. So right after the first name, I'd like a space. So I'll type another shift seven to get an ampersand. And to create a space, I'm going to type a space here inside double quotes. So I'll type a double quote, space, and a double quote. And now when I press enter, there's the first name, space, last name. And I can just copy that down. You can also combine text and numbers. So here we have a price list, our orders have come in, and I'd like to combine the product name and the total amount of each sale. So I'll do the same thing that I did with the customers. I'll type equal, click on the product name, shift seven, and put a space in there, another ampersand, and click on the amount. And that combines the product name and the amount. But this isn't formatted too nicely. If I want to format numbers or dates when I combine them, then I can use the text function. So just in a separate cell, we'll see how that works. I can type equals T E X T and an open bracket. And now it's looking for two arguments, the value we want to format and how we want it formatted. So the value is the amount and, and a comma. And I would like this as currency. So inside quote marks, I will type quote, and then I'll use a dollar sign and a number sign, comma, number sign, number sign, zero, dot, zero, zero. So that's going to format it with commas and two decimal places. And I'll put double quotes at the end and a closing bracket. When I press enter, this is the formatting we would like to see inside our combined cell data. So instead of typing it again in the other cell, I'm just going to copy this formula except for the equal sign. And go to this formula and I'll select that E2 and just paste the text formula there and when I press enter there's the formula now with the number formatted and when I copy it down it formats all these amounts with currency.